Welcome everyone to Vanessa's Finds and Crafts. I'm so glad you're here. If this is your first time, welcome. If you are part of the family already and you have subscribed, I hope you hit that bell so you're notified every time that I have posted a new video. Um, today's video is gonna be short and sweet, but I'm also gonna share some of my favorite finds and buys at Dollar Tree, so you can look out for those as well. And in addition to that, I'm coming up on my one year anniversary of being on YouTube and starting my channel. This is also unfortunately a one year anniversary of losing my mother-in-law due to COVID last year. And because of her, I was motivated to start this channel. Uh, her favorite color was red. So if you look back at my first video ever, you'll see that I'm wearing a red shirt in her honor. And today I'm just wearing the red lipstick. So I wanted to get on with my little haul and show you what I picked up recently at Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna start off with these calendars. So this one is the farmhouse calendar. And as you can see, all of the different um, months and what they have from farmhouse love to life is short, lick the bowl. Look how cute the hello summer. Um, the Merry Christmas is super cute such adorable pictures for of course you know diy so i picked up two of those and then they have the farm fresh 2022 calendar and you can check out all of these months how pretty look at the be mine for valentine's the life is sweet enjoy every bite honey bees and flowers freedom and look at thankful for november how pretty is that so had to pick up two of those and then i only picked up one of these this is the farmer's market 2022 calendar and there are all the photos for every month let me see which is my favorite probably the fresh farm fresh pumpkins and the thankful those two are definitely my favorites but i only grabbed one of those and then the thankful grateful and blessed 2022 calendar this one is beautiful as well you can see all of the sayings that each month has and of course you know i'm going to be using it so that i can do some diys and while we're talking about diys i finally found these wreath collapsible wreath stands so you see you just open it up yeah, just open it up and I almost stab myself with that but this is how it opens and closes you see the hook it has makes it easy for you to hang a wreath or you can uh, make some type of a decoration and hang it so I did pick up these three I might be using them for my uh, mother-in-law's uh, celebration of life lunch this weekend which by the way, you're probably gonna see this video probably a couple days after the fact. And then for the tables, because her favorite color was red and, and red is so um, associated to Christmas and to Valentine's Day, and it's because it's a lunch, I wanted to make it something different and special. So I went ahead and I picked up these picnic uh, type tablecloths at, um, my local Dollar Tree and I went ahead and I grabbed enough of the uh, food tables as well as the couple of tables that I'm going to have for people to sit in so I really really love this idea and then in addition to this I bought uh, I bought these at Dollar Tree as well but not all of them these glass jars I did pick up at Dollar Tree you probably seen them in a previous haul of mine and then I just added this twine and this little ribbon that I found at Ross actually and I'm just gonna put maybe some white daisies um, I don't know maybe some yellow flowers not sure uh, but this I found these two same one at Dollar Tree and then I'm also gonna use these glass jars which are spaghetti uh, sauce jars. I just cleaned them up, took the label off, did the same thing there. And this is a olives <laughs> uh, glass jar container. So that's what I'm going to use for the centerpieces and for the tables. So I grabbed them. I also picked up these doilies. 
is that what they're called doilies yeah doilies found these as well to maybe incorporate them some way somehow maybe around the tables or the food table itself um i finally found the sphere ice molds um let's go ahead and open that you know i have to end each sentence of my singing because i just do and so this is what the ice mold looks like okay okay all right there you go so that's what it looks like and here you have the other part i'm assuming you go like this you add the water through the little holes i should read the instructions huh oh there are no instructions figure it out so you're gonna have to assume that there's water that you put in there and then when you put in the water it'll go ahead and make the sphere itself so i finally found that picked up some napkins for uh, the party so we can have some good napkins i also found these 100 percent cotton swabs 300 count do you see this 300 count look how pretty the colors that are in there for a dollar and if i'm not mistaken swispers is a name brand so there you have it y'all People tell me, oh, you go to Dollar Tree, it's just junk they have, everything's made in China. You're partially correct, but you can also find so many good deals there with brand name items. But to each its own, y'all leave me alone. So moving on, I found these little decor trucks by Crafter Square. And as you can see, I see a lot of people are, you know, breaking them up with art. So you can use, you can have two trucks at the end of the day, right? Um, so I found this one with a little, I don't know if you call it a ladder. I don't know what you call it at the back. And then this other kind does not have whatever this is called in the back. If you know what it's called, help me out. I'm from Miami. I don't know. We don't have that. I don't know. So got this one as well. Super cute. Finally found those. And then... I found these hand sanitizing sprays this one is lavender lavender scented and then I found citrus scented sprays and it smells good I can tell you that it's worth it this is other ones they had by bolero and those things were not good they didn't smell good they just mm. and they weren't even hand sanitizing sprays they were like hand cleaning sprays well this has 70 percent alcohol so look out for these and like i said they do smell good so if you see them pick them up throw them in your purse throw them in your car have them at your desk at work everybody can always use some of that and then we're moving on I found this super, super adorable sign. This is a chalkboard sign. And then it says days until the big day. I don't have a wedding coming up. I don't know anybody getting married, but I still figured it was worth picking up alone just because of the hard chalkboard. You can paint it. You can make it into anything else that you may want or need. So look out for that. And then in addition to for the um, lunch in honor of my mother-in-law, I found more of these signs. I picked these up and I'm gonna decorate the food table with this. So it's actually gonna be saying, hello family. So you can see the material of this sign. And here you go, you have this. So we'll have hello family on the food table. And then I found these ready wipes. These are sanitizing hand wipes. These are actually made in the USA, as you can see here. And I bought these, kills 99.9% .9 of germs. And I found these and I bought them for uh, the food table. So before people serve themselves, their hands are clean. And I'm also going to offer uh, disposable um, gloves. So if anybody, you know, feels even more confident to use that they can go ahead and do so because 
the pandemic is still rolling around. I don't care what anybody says. Like I said, to each its own, leave me alone. And for also the lunch, I was hoping to do something using these display easels. Uh, I did buy about six of them. I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna use it just yet, but I wanna be able to put them around the table, uh, the tables where people are gonna be sitting. So I grabbed these and I did pick up another little pack of these 100% uh, cotton iron on fabric sheets. I've, you've seen them in my previous haul. If not, please go ahead and check about maybe one or two hauls right prior to this one. It's You cut out the shape, you place it on the project fabric side up, and you just press it for 30 seconds. And here are the instructions on how to use it. But also you can see the patterns that you have available to you. So I'm, this is my next project. I've already used the other iron-on glitter material they had. Um, but I hadn't tried that one yet. And we got some nails. I picked up some of these nails. Oh, dang, oh yes I did. So I got two of these. These are the fashion nails. You're gonna have to get two of them because I have like big nails, meaning wide, and these only come in a set of 12, and I can tell you now, it is not gonna work out. So you're gonna need two packs to make sure that if your nail sizes are the same on both hands, which they should be, um, you're gonna need a two pack. So still for $2, that's not bad. I got that design. And then I also picked up this design, blue, very pretty, blue and black. So again, I picked up two packs there. Of course, you know, you're gonna need some hazelnut creamer for your coffee and it's perfect because it lasts me a week at work and I can always just um, throw it out at the end of the week if there's just a tiny bit. Um, picked up my son loves, loves, loves this Sunkiss orange peach mango, 1000 milligrams of vitamin C and it says it's gluten free as well. And another one that he loves is this strawberry peach um, by Welch's zero sugar, no aspartame, and a good source of vitamin C. Uh, how much of it? Zero sugar, zero protein, 15% of vitamin C. So this one has 1,110% of vitamin C. So, you know, we need to up that immune system as much as possible. So I think that's it for the things that I picked up recently. I just went real quick in and out of the store. And so I'm gonna share with you guys now my favorite finds at Dollar Tree, as well as hopefully some shots from my mother-in-law's uh, life celebration. So guys, thanks again for visiting with me. Thank you for hanging out with me and for your support. I know I'm so far away from my 1,000 subscribers, but it will be awesome if you can share my channel with others. And for those that are new, I wish I could, I don't know how to, if I can, but thank you, thank you all for subscribing to my channel. I really, truly appreciate it. All right, guys, check out the other stuff I have.